M0 FXB, welcome back to my Anytone AT168 firmware video. Big thanks to Bridgecom, I've managed to get the CPS and the firmware from their site, so definitely check that one out and the link's in the description. On the right hand side we've got the changes, so if you look here it's quite a big one really, it says resolve the issue that APRS doesn't work, I mean that's quite a big statement. Uh, resolve issue GPS menu was missing in the edit button. Uh, satellite AOS limit doesn't work. Timeout predict any tone 168 doesn't work. Um, satellite the radio doesn't have a sound when SQ set zero. Improve the scan speed resolve issue that the 168 doesn't receive 878 UV well. Oh. Um, and resolve the issue that once they can't receive digital repeater signal well in mixed mode resolve the issue that doesn't display the satellite name after load the satellite so I think that's quite a big update so anyway first you want to do is open up your software and download you know read from your radio and save it yeah and that's the number one thing I would say because at the end of this you've got to do a full reset so just go read your radio in the normal way file read and then file save okay and i'm just going to put one in my downloads for now let's just call it 168 there i just so i got a save there download save right well that's good um so next thing we're going to actually use this software this is i've already i'm using the 1.06 software that came in the download um to do that um so the cps reads I had 1.05 on there before. So when you click here, 168 firmware, 1.06 firmware at, on Bridgecom, it gives you a drop down and you've got the zip. Save it somewhere so you can find everything. There's quite a few in here, but the important one is the firmware one and the CPS, I would say. And they're all like, you know, they're all described. So if I double click the firmware one, you'll see there there's three files here cdi cdd i'm pretty sure the only one we actually need is the spi we're soon going to find out uh, so reopen the software connect your cable to the radio it's you it goes in the USB C. there is drivers there but you shouldn't need it to go into firmware mode you just turn off the radio hold down the two buttons under the ptt not the PTT and turn on and you know it's in firmware mode because the red light is flashing I know it's quite hard to see that but it's flashing so we're in firmware mode now in the software you want to right click and select your device manager right click the windows squares and scroll down to ports and you'll see your your port number and mine's showing up under USB serial device 26. So we go at the top here, set com. So set, then set com, then select 26. Click OK. And I've already read and, and wrote, so I know it's reading. And I recommend you do that just to check everything's reading. Then go to tool and go firmware and icon update. Then it says here, open update file that you've saved somewhere where you can find it. And I've got it on my desktop in a folder called Anytone168. And we're looking at firmware. And there it is there. The only one that it allows me to select is the SPI. Double click. Click OK. We're in firmware mode. We've selected the COM. I'm not going to change the speed now. I'm just going to click right. And it's working, so that's good. And then at the end of this, we'll do the factory reset. Then we'll reload my code plug that I saved. And, um, you know, I didn't realize that APRS wasn't working. I'm sure I made a video doing APRS. I'll keep it live. It's a fantastic little radio. Very good value. You know, not much more than £100. Dual band, colour screen, lovely to use, sounds great. I really rate it. And Bridgecom do an amazing job. Don't Bridgecom, they're more than just selling radios. You know, Bridgecom, they train, 
they've got kits, the bundles, they've got the, um, what's their hotspot called? It's got a, quite a cool name. Bridgecom, send me one and I, I will demonstrate it, but I'm in the UK. Um, anyway, firmware update's done. Uh, so let's just uh, go into factory reset mode, although I've got a feeling it will show that it's in there already. So if we just go menu, down to settings, it's settings, device info, and go down. Yeah, it's already showing it, but you do have to do the factory reset. So you turn it off, PTT and the button underneath, just the one button and turn on. Keep your fingers on and then you've got your initialize confirm. Like so. Give it a minute, it's going to ask for your date and all that stuff. Once it's done, rebooting, I'm just going to do a confirm so I can't be bothered to put date in. Uh, it should be a blank radio now. Yeah, it is. So now we go back to our software, which is down here. Make sure the cable's connected. You can see even the screen's timing out now. Click exit, and then I should be able to just go, because I haven't changed what's on it, so I should be able to go program. I uh, just set, make sure the com is set because that does tend to reset. Now that's fine. And then program and write to radio. There you go. And I've done the contacts as well. And at the same time, we've got a delivery. I can hear my Mazzy barking away. Takes a while for the contacts to go in. That's your digital contact. So there you are. It's, it's loading. So we'll end the video there. Of course, I'm going to be going through and testing the APRS. I did make a video on APRS and I, I, in my video it was working, so I wonder what they mean unless, anyway, go to APRS just briefly. Ah, analog APRS, that could be what it is. So yeah, I'm going to do a, a video on analog APRS. Thanks to Bridgecom and uh, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, let's all learn together. Stay healthy. Number one thing, don't drink Coke. Don't smoke. Drink as little as possible alcohol. Don't snack too much. Keep your weight okay. Live a long life. Play radio forever. 7-3.